when you sit here with the breath, trying to be with the body in and of itself. One of the first things you notice is all the different pains all around the body. It's one of the reasons why the Buddha said that illness is normal. It's the normal way of things. If you don't have any out-and-out -out illnesses, well, there's still hunger all the time. If you can eat the body, you can stuff it full, and pretty soon it's, it's not full anymore. You need some more food. It just keeps going on and on and on like that. And so one of the things we have to accept is the fact that the body is never quite in balance. There's going to be something out of balance someplace, and yet we have to find a place of balance in the mind in spite of all that. It's so one of the first lessons is just accepting that fact that the pains are normal, the imbalances are normal. Sometimes you feel too cold, sometimes you feel too hot. You feel too hot, so you go and try to cool off, and then you get too cold and you have to run back out to the heat again, it's back and forth like this. During the summer here, we try to shade off the sun so that it doesn't touch our huts, it doesn't touch our buildings, that we stay out of the sun, keep running away from anything that's warm. And now, of course, this time of year everything is cold again, so we like sitting in the sun and we like having the heat on. Things are never quite right, never quite balanced. But you've got to find this point of balance inside in spite of all that. And remind yourself it's there. There's a part of the mind that's just kind of aware of things. It's not commenting on anything, it just knows, knows, and knows. It's on the receptive side. And you, you want to get in touch with that for a while to see the extent to which when you're dealing with the imbalances outside, and imbalances inside as well, that you're overdoing things, that your efforts to bring things back into balance actually make the situation worse. In other words, you have to learn how to step back from what you're doing. This is probably the most important skill that you're going to develop as you practice the Dharma, is learning to step back from your actions and watch them. To what extent are your actions actually helping the situation, and to what extent are they actually making it worse? And actions here, of course, are not only the actions of the body, but your speech, and, and especially the actions of the mind. To try to step back and look at what you're doing as you deal with the imbalances outside. And, and if you can accept the fact that imbalance is always going to be there, then you can put a lot of those issues aside, for the time being at least, and work more directly at the mind. Because it's the mind that's going to provide you real refuge. And the, if you're going to wait for the day when the, everything in the body is perfectly balanced, it's never going to happen. In fact, as time goes on, things get more and more likely to get unbalanced. But this balance of the mind is something that we can attain, it's something we can access more and more frequently as it gets stronger and stronger. So there's the the balance of the body starts swinging in really wide arcs. Okay, the mind doesn't have to swing in wide arcs along with it. It can stay at normalcy and look after itself. And that's for the issues of the body, you can let them go. Once you accept that they're never going to be perfect, it's a lot easier to, to get along. <laughs>